Hey, how are you guys? Thanks for joining the stream. Uh, cheers. Coffee afternoon stream. So um, I'm using an old mic. I've had this mic for 15 years. When you get to be my age, 15 years feels like one year. So let me know if you can hear me clearly or not before I get into it. And then we will uh, jump into the whole uh, subject of the day. I have something pretty cool for you. Um, where do you get the intro background music? It's pretty spooky. I actually produced that piece of sound. That's my music. I built it up on my iPad. I was playing with drum beats. I do a little drumming and I played, I got that drum beat. I said, that's cool. So then I put together this track on the iPad, uh, and, um, there it is. So I kind of use it as my intro tool. So yeah, it's my it's, it's my spooky music. Um, best audio in a while. Well, good. There's a good mic. Sounds good. Good. All right. So appreciate the feedback on that one. So uh, in news today, I'm up in Canada, Montreal, and Canada's like really behind uh, the Western world vis-a-vis -vis vaccines and COVID and so forth. So I decided to get, I was able, lucky enough to get my vaccine today. So I got my vaccine and uh, the first one. And for whatever reasons, after getting the vaccine, I felt, I felt compelled to, to use Windows. I'm not sure why, but for some reason, I felt compelled to pull out my, um, my Microsoft laptop here. Well, whatever. What is it called? The Pro. Anyhow. Surface, Surface Pro, I think it's called. It's been such a long time. Anyway, there you go. So for some reason, I feel like using Microsoft products again. I'm not sure why. Um, yeah, so today, a friend of mine, he's a senior at a, an energy company out in California, and they're looking for remote workers. So if you look below this video, there's a contact email address. If you're qualified for the job, uh, you can reach out to him, send your resume, and uh, you can uh, contact him. He sent me this a little while ago, and I forgot all about it, so I feel a little embarrassed by that. But I'm going to show you the two jobs that he has. I don't know how many positions there are, but he's got two roles at least. So let me just jump into that, and then we'll get into the subject at hand, and we'll do a little Q&A as usual. So we'll go to the desktop. Can you see that? Yeah, I guess you can. Yeah, there it is. So here's the job. Here's the job. Let me zip into that. Move that over. All right. So uh, EDMS Energy Company. So he's, first of all, they're looking full stack engineer, full time remote. Uh, so is it energy market business anyway? You can take. You can read this over on your own. You can just replay the video. Read this over. Look at what the responsibilities are. Look at what the qualifications he's looking for. Extensive knowledge of JavaScript, C++, or Go. Uh, so I guess one or, the, one or the three. Proficiencies in fundamental front-end languages such as HTML, CSS, TypeScript, and JavaScript, React, or Angular. Again, a lot of ORs. I don't think it requires you know everything. Working knowledge of at least one SQL, DBB, DBMS. DBMS is short for Database Management System. Anyway, you should know what these are. So just look through it here. You can decide whether or not uh, <laughs> you have to be fans of one of these TV shows, apparently. So this is a good dude. He's a friend of mine. He was actually one of my students from way back at when. So he sent me this job posting. Again, you look below the video. You find a link to uh, the contact so you can email your resume. But make sure you're, you have the specs. Make sure you're up to this ability. It's a full stack engineer, full time and remote position for people who may be working remote. And the second position we have, here we go. This is um, 
a DevOps engineer. So there's a DevOps engineer, full-time, remote, uh, same company. Uh, these are your responsibilities, qualifications, at least three years experience managing and maintaining Linux service in a global multi-server multi environment, experience with automation, scripting, et cetera, et cetera. Here are the, the requirements. I'm leaving it on the screen now so you can go back and look at these requirements. Again, you can contact the guy below, my friend Patrick, uh, EDMS, uh, that's the company, Energy Data Management Services. And he uh, he's looking for uh, these positions to be filled. Uh, contact him right away because I was supposed to post this about three weeks ago and it totally boo, slipped my mind. So there you go, a couple of job postings for you guys. So if you got the skills, you know what to do there. Um, yeah, if you're a beginner, I recommend you take, go to my uh, link is below, the coders. Career Path webinar, 29 minute video, teaches you about programming in general in terms of jobs to language. What kind of work you'd be doing as a C programmer or a JavaScript programmer, what kind of company you would be working for, etc. Very good video for people new to the game and they want to understand that. Uh, since I'm here, I have this Lizard Wizard Komodo. It's a training a series of training steps, practical implement, implementation of advanced psychological training regime that will help you with anxieties, fear, help you to learn better, help you to interact with people better, help you with your interpersonal skills. This is free. You sign up and uh, you get uh, every three days you get a new task to perform that will train your lizard brain. If you don't know anything about that, this is free here. But if you want to learn more about Lizard Wizard, I have a course. It's going to break the bank at $19.99, but it's going to teach you, train you about how your mind works and how you can implement that. It's going to help you become a better developer overall. So there you go. So uh, there's a few bookkeeping things I want to take care of before I got into it. So I'm going to do a little Q&A today. Oh, by the way, before I forget, uh, if you already have development skills, you want to level your game up, check out Refactoring. This is one of the most important books out there. Uh, links are below. I wish it would be in focus. Get in focus. Or it's not getting in focus. Anyway. Refactoring book. This is the Java version. There is a there is a JavaScript version as well. If you want, it, but it works with Python, works with PHP, works for C sharp, works for everything except Ruby. Okay, even Ruby. And if you're a total beginner and you want to learn the development stack, this is the book. This is my book. You can get it on Amazon.uk. You can get it on Amazon.com.ca. And it might be in bookstores around you. Uh, so this is my book. I wrote it a few years ago. It's for total beginners, but it covers the basics of the web and HTML, CSS, etc. Sound is great. Good, good, sweet. That's awesome. Good, good, good. First of all, who are you? I am the 169-year-old developer, the 169-year-old developer. You can look me up on Google. You'll find me there. Uh, let's get into some questions here. Hold on a second. It's going to be easier like this for me. Okay, hold on. Here we go. All right, go. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what's going on. Uh, hello, hello. Hello, Mr. Sharik. Sharik from Pakistan. Welcome to the streams. Uh, if you want to achieve greatness in my endeavors, if I want to achieve greatness, what do you think is the first step? How do you embark on this, this well sought after? Whoa. How do I embark on this well sought after fulfilling journey? Ah, well, one step at a time is the cliche. Um, you want to try to level up your game, your skills on a regular basis. Uh, and a broad range of skills, not just coding skills, interpersonal skills, communication skills, writing skills. All that plays a role in terms of leveling up your game. But a little bit every day, a little bit every day will help. Um, a little bit more to it than that, but you know. Uh, sup, 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 sup. Hi from Argentina in time. Very good. Sharik Rashid says, I am a junior front, friend end web dev. And I live in South Asia. Here, salaries are quite low. Do you think I should opt for remote jobs or freelancing? Do your remote jobs pay well? They can pay very well. So 
If you're qualified, check out my friend's uh, position. Just email down below. Again, email only if you're meets a decent amount of requirements there. Don't flood them. Hello from Proxima Centauri. <laughs> Very good. Hello, 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 hello. Best audio in a while. All right, so you guys like this audio? Let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you like the stream. Give me a thumbs up or let me know best audio, better than the other mic. I have that other mic. I don't know where I put it. Somewhere else. So this is my uh, Neumann mic. This is a Neumann T TLM 103. It's by far my most expensive mic. I used to have a couple of these. Anyway, um, so yeah, sound is perfect. Sound is good, good. Does college T software development? It depends on the college, but you should do Studio Web first. Sounds good. Uh, mic level seems a little bit low, but I can hear you fine. Hi from Cyprus. What? Okay, hi from Cyprus. What current trends in coding and technology are you keeping a keen eye on the moment? momentum and why um on the moment and why good question uh i think in terms of development uh the core languages are pretty stable if you look at the top 10 lists the same cast of characters same languages same stacks are in the top 10 for the last many many years python php javascript java c sharp c plus plus you know those guys um so that has not changed much. In terms of uh, application development methodologies, again, still widely OO-based, object-oriented based, MVC-based uh, MVC application development is huge. The web continues to be big and grow bigger. The biggest changes, I say, in the last 10 years has been DevOps and uh, very sophisticated server models. But in terms of raw development, it's very similar. It's very, 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 very similar. So the trend is, I think, uh, my prediction is that WebStack is going to continue to dominate for the foreseeable future, whether it be for web apps, desktop, or mobile even, because you can take web technology and move it across the different uh, deployment uh, targets, if that makes any sense. Okay, so the volume's a bit low, they say. Okay, hold on a second. See what I can do here. Give me a sec. Professional. All right, so does that work? Tell me if the sound is better. I'm not clipping, I hope. Eh, maybe a little bit of clipping. So we gotta be careful with that. So let me know how the sound is now, if it's too harsh or not. We'll find out in a second. Um, what do you think about GPT-3? Is it worth to learn to learn web development? GPT-3, remind me what that is. I, I used to know, but I totally forget. Uh, all factors equal, which company is better to join? S series A or D? <laughs> It depends how much risk you are willing to take. It depends on the risk. Um, if you're willing to take more risk and you're younger, uh, you want to go for a company that is younger because you can get uh, better benefits, better piece of the action, if you will. Better ownership. Uh, that's what I would say. Uh, what is the sense? What's the sense of create? react app if we have next.js do companies use next.js i don't know just look at the local job listings and see what uh, what was what people are using out there hello sir how are you doing today i'm doing great i hope you're doing great as well how much love from much love from macedonia and hope everything goes well with the vaccine yeah me too i'm a little tired today I'm a little tired today, and I feel like using Microsoft computers for some reason. I don't know why I'm into, I feel like using Windows. It's weird, but um, I'm doing good. I heard Ruby users are anti-vaxxers. <laughs> I just got my first dose too. Not in Montreal, though. Laugh out loud. There you go. I'm learning Go coming from PHP background. How do you find Golang, by the way? I haven't used Golang, so I don't have a comment, but people seem to like it, so... Um, again, try it out, see how it goes, and look at job opportunities. That goes good, very good. 
What's your opinion about Jamstack? I think somebody, David, I think David got my joke. I'm not sure if he did, but I think he did. I thought you were a Mac guy. I'm shocked. I'm making a joke. I'm making a vaccine joke there. I am a Mac guy, but I'm also a Windows guy. But I use Mac like 95% of the time now. Uh, I I ordered your book. Can't wait to get it. Hey, all right, man. Her 12. Appreciate that. Let me know how it goes. Let me know what you think when you get it. Is this a new symptom? Yeah, I think if you get to AstraZeneca, that is what happens. Uh, uh, now that you've had vaccine, you'll finally have 5G. <laughs> Best advice for new grad, uh, SWE, SWE, software engineer. Uh, congratulations, by the way. Um, get a job. Start working in the real world, man. Start working in the real world and uh, see how that goes for you. Uh, hello, Stefan. I've studied the fundamentals of JS, but I don't know how to connect all those concepts into creating mini projects. What should I should I do? JS exercise with another YouTuber, Web Simplified used. Um, I don't know. You, if you did a good basics course, you should understand DOM and DOB uh, crawling. D-O-M, DOM. Perhaps you should experiment with a little H, uh, the XML, um, the Ajax. You should experiment with Ajax. My moraine's a little twisted today. Um, yeah, and I would just go out there and do a couple of freelance gigs and take, take that leap. And whatever you don't know, just learn it. Uh, if you look at my back catalog on YouTube, you'll probably find videos where I talk about this more extensively. Can I earn money freelancing from Iran? Yeah, that's difficult. I don't know what the, how the sanctions impact you in that way. Maybe if you do it through uh, crypto, crypto payments, that might be an option for you, but I don't know. Uh, what's your opinion about becoming a blockchain dev? I think there's opportunity there. I'm finally, we're start, finally starting to see, we're finally starting to see blockchain technology implemented in ways where there's, um, there's financial advantage, there's practical application rather, not just betting on whether a crypto will go up in value. There we go, there we go. Uh, Microsoft's new marketing campaign is to put Windows a lot in your vaccines. <laughs> Windows IoT in your vaccine. Sounds like up my street, there you go, there you go. Uh, blockchain dev average salaries are much higher than regular devs. It could be the way, but how many jobs are there? Check into that. I'm a long way from these qualifications, unfortunately. Uh, I can't see the links in the description. No, there's an email address and you email that guy and, uh, and tell him that you're, you heard about the job opportunities from me and he'll know what's that all about, okay? Uh, hope to get that word one day. That sounds great. Uh, sweet, that's all. What's your opinion about Jamstack for freelancing? I don't know. I haven't looked at the Jamstack um, opportunities. So in that regard, what's what are basic and necessary things to do remote job? Good communication skills is number one. You have to have good communication skills. Besides having the qualifications for the job at hand. Yeah. Good evening from Florida. How are you, Kevin? I hope everything is well. I was supposed to go down to Florida, but unfortunately, Canada has got this... Uh, policy where if anybody comes in even you know from no matter where even if you can't get into canada without uh proof that you tested negative for, for covid number one uh number two even if you do you have to come in you have to go to hotel trudeau trudeau is our prime minister and uh you have to go to hotel trudeau and you have to sit there until they test you wet yet again which is weird anyway but what are you gonna do are you working as dev? No longer. I manage uh, devs. Uh, I have my own SaaS, which is StudioWeb.com. But I, 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 you know, at one point in your career, since I'm 169 years old, I don't uh, have time to be a dev anymore. So here's my uh, here's my app. Yeah, here it is. Let's see if I can get it higher up in the screen here. So this is my app studioweb.com it's an educational platform 
uh, used by schools all over the place. These are just a handful of schools. We have many, many more. And uh, yeah, that's it. So that's what I do nowadays. I don't touch code nowadays because I'm just busy, 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 busy. But I do check her into the code base once in a while, but I trust my lead dev now. Uh, what do you think is the best language framework for cross-platform GUI development? Web stack. Use the web stack. Ibrahim, Ibrahim says, Hi, Stefan, I'm learning web design, done HTML, CSS, and JS and jQuery. I have some issues with responsive design. How much do you think is it going to take me to getting over that? Adding React to my list. You know, I would just start building little sites. Um, look at uh, CSS Grid and CSS Flexbox. That will make it a lot easier. There's also something called CSS Tables, which nobody uses, which is pretty useful too. It will make CSS responsive layout easier. Um, you can also look at Bootstrap. Bootstrap is a framework that uh, will make your life a lot easier. There you go. Software development salary, developer salary. Depends where you are. What should I learn to integrate video chat and voice chat features? So many libraries out, but it's so confusing. Just start with one. Just read some reviews. Start with one and maybe a not a good one, but once you've learned one um, uh, video chat system, then the rest will come a lot easier for you. Uh, hello, for Uf Ufo. Ufo from the UK. Thanks for joining the stream. Love your videos, and this is my first live stream attendee from the UK. Hey, welcome to the stream, dude. Uh, Audio is good. How can we find a remote job from the other side of the world? Iran. Yeah, again, I don't know what the geopolitical situation is there. Hopefully, I hopefully for the people of Iran, Iran, and I say this most sincerely, I hope everything will clear up for you guys um, so that uh, you can work remotely, you know. Uh, Steph, is there any place where I can find all Lizard Wizard Komodo videos? I have first, third, and fifth spell, but I must delete a fourth spell by mistake. Should I resubscribe or can I find it elsewhere? That's a good question. Uh, right now, it's only in the system. You lost the fifth. You lost the fourth. There's a... Hmm. Let me think about that one. Give me a week to think, because right now it's all set up in a... And a schedule. There's also a sixth and a seventh and an eighth I wrote already. They should be coming out pretty soon. Uh, yeah, yeah. What I should do is put out a, a PDF. What I'll do is I'll put out a PDF with all the spells in a, in a one area so that you have them. Hello, Steph. Does learning? Uh, yes, learning is good. Hello. Where should I look for full stack job? I don't really want to do front end. Or a classic website. Thanks. Well, look on job sites. You know, uh, start reaching out to local companies. Hello from the Czech Republic. Hello, welcome to the uh, the other mic. His this one is clear. Oh, very good. So I guess this is the best mic. People like this mic the best. It's actually easy to work with. It's got a bit wider field of view and. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely improve on hissing. It's clean now. Oh, very good. Yeah, audio sounds great. I also reminds me of your lectures. <laughs> it's true. I was using this during the lectures. Yeah. Stefan, will you come? When will you come in movies? When will you come in movies? How's that? What do you mean by that? Uh, how to be self taught developer? Um, you start with the basics and you move your way 20 minutes a day. I have videos you should look. I talk about that in other videos on my back catalog. Just go through them. I talk about how to learn how to code effectively. Just do a little bit every day. You seem tired. What's the reason? I took a vaccine earlier today. And one of the symptoms is it, it tires you out. So I'm a little tired today because of the vaccine. There's no question. I had to crawl so I can do a live stream today. Can't miss the live streams. Uh, what time is it now? Five thirty. How are we going? It's uh, thirty minutes. All right. Uh, are you going to share a top three who's and or what G Google alerts you have set up? Or what Google alerts you have set up? Three who's. I'm not sure what you mean by that. You mean? Yeah, you, ex Vin Nayar. Please expand upon that. Hello, Sven. Does learning C++ will give you a skill for other language? Yes, it will. But 
learning any of the top languages will give you other skills for other langues. So if you learn C++, for sure, will help you with every other language. If you learn JavaScript, will help you with any other language. If you learn Python, will help you with any other language. The only exception is Ruby. If you learn Ruby, it will hurt you with every other language. <laughs> That's a joke. Uh, hey, Steph, what's, what is requirement for yours friend full stack dev position? I, um, I just got to the stream, saw the email address at the description. Yeah, you can rewind the, um, you know what, what I can do here. There's a shot. You can uh, take a look here. Uh, that's for the full stack engineer. Uh, but you can see the beginning of the video. Here's the shot here. You can check it. This is for the DevOps engineer. Make sure you have the qualifications before applying. You can email him directly. Just save as name's Patrick. He's the he's in charge. He used to be a student of mine, a long time ago. So uh, yeah, so this uh, there you go. You can freeze frame that. Take a screenshot, and or you can just rewind the video and you get to it. Ah, uh, I said, what is requirement for yours, friend? Okay, I got that one. Excellent. 1010 10 audio, good. Sound is louder, but was fine for me before. Okay, much better. Okay, cool, cool. Sound is very good. Thank you. I appreciate the feedback. It's always helpful when you guys chime in, give me the feedback. What software do you recommend using to sketch and wireframe projects? That's up to you. I actually sketch and wireframe on paper. <laughs> Personally, I do it on paper. So, uh, and why is that here? Okay, let me get back. All right, good. I actually do it on paper. Um, but it's up to you. Some people like to use Photoshop. There are sketching and wireframing apps out there. But I would just check that out. I Again, I just paper it. Um, what I'll do, or I'll use my iPad a lot too. I'll use my iPad and the iPad sketching app. I like that because then I just click a button and emails it right to uh, whoever I want to see my sketches. Uh, for a person in their 40s, how useful would an associate's degree in software programming from a community college be in the tech industry? Hmm. I don't know. Do you have a background in other uh, other areas that you can leverage? Are you, I don't know, a lawyer? Are you an accountant? Um, whatever. What have you. I say that. I ask that because you can combine those skills together. Um, I don't know. I think um, you would have to, if you have a degree... You would have to find yourself working for larger organizations, and they're going to be more likely to hire you versus a young startup. So that might be an option. Another thing I would suggest would be uh, freelancing. Freelancing would be a good way to go. Is full stack position coming to extinction? Not even close. With the stack becoming so complex, it seems the career path leads always to specialization. Thanks. No, I don't think so. I think so. I think there are going to be specializations within full stack itself. Uh, hi, Stefan. I'm learning web design. Okay, we did that one. Uh, how much does it usually cost to make a voice audio chat app for iOS? Oof, I don't know. I, I It would depend on the feature set, right? One voice audio chat app is not another. But I would say a minimum of a couple thousand bucks. But I was just a guess off the top of my head. Is microservice architecture the future? I think it's going to be here um, forever. Do I? Do I? I don't believe in their whole app should be just be a, a bunch of microservices. I think the microservice design pattern, if you will, should be a supplement to a core app. Again, depending on the nature of the project, that's how I would look at it. Yeah. Uh, Stefan, it seems like so many people are learning to code and get IT search these days. Do you think the jobs will be harder to get and will be less jobs in IT? No, I think there's there's a lot more people learning to code, but there's more jobs even increasing even faster. So this is the jobs, this is the coders. So you always, from all the stats I've seen, from all the stats I've seen. So uh, what does it take to become a full stack engineer? A series, you know, 
you got to know the the core languages. You got to you got to you got to be able to work on the full stack, front end, back end. Uh, be able to do the middle layer. You know, understand the uh, you know the basics of the web and so forth. Um, how to break into cybersecurity? That's a pun intended. Um, I don't know. I'm not a cybersecurity expert. Uh, you have been refactored by the. That's good. I like that. I can't. You have been refactored by the vaccine. That's it. For some reason, as I said, uh, since I got vaccinated, I, I felt compelled to uh, pull out my Surface Pro, Microsoft. I felt like using Windows all of a sudden. I'm not sure why, but uh, that, is, that is the case. Uh, what do you think of Deno? I haven't used it, but I know that uh, the guy who created Deno, of course, was the founder and creator of um, Node. And he thinks that Node's a mess, so he created Deno. I would imagine it's more refined than Node, I would guess, but I don't know. Hey, Steph, any chance you would consider doing TikTok videos? We'd love to see you dance until the latest trends while educating us on syntax. That's it. I don't know. I'm guessing that uh, tick not TikTok is not in my future. I'm just guessing that. Uh, GPT stands for Generator Pre-Trained Transformer, uh, which is an auto-regressive language model that uses deep learning to produce human-like text. Ah, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, very good. That's not in my uh, uh, my field, my purview of knowledge outside of my scope. So I refrain to comment on it. Best local cigarette. Hello, Stefan from Orlando, Florida. Good place. I'm a first time commented. I really enjoy your videos. How do you feel about cloud coding? Do you feel it's the future? Any plans for releasing cloud coding course? Um, well, I'm not sure what you mean by cloud coding. I, I mean, just deploying your apps to the cloud. We do that. Studio Web is a cloud based platform. We use the, we're on a VPS. In fact, Studio Web is, uh, we use two different cloud services to, uh, to allow for the functionality. What is the best way to learn algorithm and data structures? Writing code, writing code. That's it. It's overemphasized, by the way. Unless you're doing very specialized you know, physics programming or game engine programming or uh, AI, machine learning, uh, algorithms and data structures are a very, very, very minor part of coding. You're much better off learning refactoring and design patterns. There are books below for those subjects. If you want to do, for general, pro, I'd say 99% of programming, okay, 96% of programming, algorithms and data structures are secondary in importance. Uh, from my experience going back to the 1990s. Any thoughts about PHP source code hack attempts? Yeah, I heard about that. Having in mind SolarWinds as well, with these cases have an impact to enforce any change in software development, especially for freelancers. Well, what, what happened was the PHP people had their own repo, and the repo was hacked. So it wasn't so much a question of PHP, it was a question of the repo being hacked. So they moved everything to GitHub since. But that's just a factor. It's, a, it's, a, um, it's just a reality of software these days. Everybody's been hacked. Sony, Microsoft, Google, Apple, they have all been hacked. Um, what I do, I've been hacked whew, ages ago. What I do is uh, I don't keep any uh, uh, my apps. We don't have any crucial information. So even if they do hack, uh, there's nothing there. There's nothing there to of any value. Everything we offload all our transactional stuff, financial transactions offline, off to another uh, processor. You know, Stripe, PayPal, etc. And we uh, so we have nothing of value. You know, we don't have people's addresses or real names, you know. So that's what that's one of the things they do, uh, you know. And then we lock down everything. Everything is locked down. Uh, I am a hobbyist, and I am studying Python. I am a infrastructure engineer and work with PowerShell scripting. Now learning and teaching Python. Hey, very cool, man. Good stuff. Welcome to the stream. Uh... I feel the questions are better on the YouTube stream than on Instagram ones. This is great. You're awesome. I appreciate it, Vin. Thank you. How to develop your sense of communication skills as a developer, not having much experience dealing and communicating with people? Well, you should do 
Thanks for your super chat, Thomas. We'll get to it in a second. Well, you should do Lizard Wizard Komodo. It's free. This is going to teach you how to communicate. There's lessons. Right now, I think there's five or six. I'll be having eight. Uh, they come to you once every three days or so and uh, in an email, and they give you a simple task, and they're designed to help you with those things, to help you with your uh, communicating skills and communicating with people. Lizard Wizard, check it out. Komodo is free. Uh, so you get a, a little lesson, a little thing to do, an actual practical application that will help you, plus the lesson. And there's six now, and I think we'll have eight soon. And if you want to get deeper into it, you can just pick up my course, Lizard Wizard, which will help you with all that stuff. Just check it out. Links are all below. Lizard Wizard, dating techniques, what the gut feelings are. Uh, what else? Power poles, dating, uh, uh, entertainment, a hierarchy of concerns, body control. Anyway, changing your attitudes, learning to control your emotions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that will help you there. Super Chats. Uh, hey, Steph, your web dev course is really helping me solidify and progress in my journey. I'm glad I could help with that. Thanks for letting me know. Built a landing page today. Going to move on to building projects. Thanks for the upgrade from... Uh, uh, no worries, no worries. Yeah, that's one of the things I do with my courses. Uh, sometimes uh, people will start learning and then life happens and then they'll contact me two years later and say, Steph... I forgot my password and I, I, they give me their username. And so I give them a free upgrade to the new version of the courses. It's like basically when you, if you buy my WebStack course, you have my WebStack course for life. You know, if you buy my JavaScript course, my Python course, you have them for life, any of the upgrades. Uh, which are the best projects that a web developer need in his portfolio? Real projects, working with real clients. Your voice got louder now and nearly no noise from start. Much better. Okay, good, good. All right, so I know what to do. You know, when you spend a lot more money on a mic, you get a lot better sound. Uh, what's your opinion on Blazor and WebAssembly? I have not used. Uh, what's going on here? Alex says, what, which are the most used languages and frameworks for backend web development? You're not going to like it. It's PHP. PHP is by far the most popular backend language uh, simply because, well, it's everywhere. Uh, WordPress plays a big role with that. In terms of web framework, I couldn't say. I'm guessing it's probably Laravel, which is a PHP framework, but it's hard to say. But... Um, they're all good. They all have their pros and cons, you know. <laughs> I, I, I get confused between a, a SAS and SAS. Yes, yes, yes. I can understand that. SAS, software as a service. That's a product in the form of a software, usually a web app. And SAS is a, uh, it's a CSS uh, tool that allows you to add uh, more sophistication to your CSS deployments. I don't use SAS. I was never, I'm kind of vanilla JS, a CSS guy. Hello from Wichita, Kansas. How are you, Kelby? Missed you yesterday. I don't think I did one yesterday. Is it bad form to re reuse the same or similar templates when you start freelancing? No, not at all. Not at all. Uh, if, you was, if you was 40 years old, what path would you take and now would you start if you had to start from absolute beginner in today's world? A good question. I would uh, be freelancing personally because it's the easiest way to get up and running as a professional and there's a lot more opportunities. You have total control of your environment and you can, once you establish yourself within the first year, you can be making a lot more money than you would working for somebody. Uh, and there's lots of tax advantages, typically anyway, at least in Canada and U.S. I'm not sure about other parts of the world. Uh, what would you do to figure out what SaaS to build? You have to understand the domain of the industry you want to get into. You have to look for a demand. So, for example, at Studio Web, I built it uh, just as a general concept project. So I got my little team together. I said, we're going to build this. And we built it really quick total MVP, 
And then schools started approaching us. They found us on the web and say, hey, does your, sat, does your does studio web do, does your product do this, does do that? And then we started building up on based on need. Uh, so yeah, you got to let the industry tell you uh, what SaaS to build as opposed to trying to come up with something. The big mistake people will make in software development, they'll come up with a piece of software for an industry or for a problem that they inv they've invented. You got to let... The market kind of tell you what to do in that regard. All right, 47 minutes. We'll be wrapping this up at one hour even. What do you think about Vue.js? It'd be my first choice of JS frameworks. We use it on Studio Web. What should I learn first if I want to learn how to code? Learn HTML and CSS and then JavaScript. Links below. Check out my courses, money back guarantee. You'll learn a lot quickly. Uh, I get stuck. I get stuck on CSS Grid. I get stuck on CSS Grid is much more powerful than Flex. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, well, some people will suggest using Flexbox, uh, Flexboxes inside of CSS Grids. You might want to try that. Uh, what's your opinion about online university? Is it is it my it is my only option because it takes a very long time to learn by myself. Depends on the quality of the university. Uh, depends what your end goals are. You may want to check out my mentoring program uh, if you're looking for a guided training that's going to get you there quick. Here it is. Check it out. Studioweb.com mentoring. There's links below. And this is my most comprehensive training I, I provide. You see, you get all this. Boom. So it's quite comprehensive. Hundreds of video lessons, interaction. You get the support from the community, support from the bi-weekly Zoom meetings. It's the best program you're going to find under 20000 That's for sure. It's not my cheapest, but it's my most comprehensive. Some people, and I'm letting new people in now. Uh, yep, there you go. I agree. Thanks, Stefan. Not a problem, Ibra. Ibrahim, I hope it goes well for you. How should my resume look? How should my resume must look like regarding projects? I am ready to do this for them now. I will be dedicating 70 to 80% of my working time for this as I don't know what to do regarding this part. I'm not sure what you mean by that. How should my resume? Again, the most important thing is you do real, real, real world projects for real clients. And the project itself is not super important as long as it's real. That's the thing. Uh, those will change in volume when you move your head away from the mic. Yeah, that's the nature of the mic. It's got a, they call it a polar pattern. So it's got like a, think of like a bubble here. So if I'm in the bubble, the sound is very, very clear. Very clear. But if I pull back from the bubble, the sound dissipates. And that's done by design to try and block out at least some of the background noise. Although this mic is famous for very detailed sound. So I can come up to you and talk to you like this. ASMR Steph coding videos. And uh, it will pick it up. Whereas other mics won't be able to pick it up as clearly. German made Neumann. Uh, some of the best mics in the world. Uh, I did suggest including Liz's Wizard Komodo. I did suggest including Lizard Wizard Komodo with Lizard Wizard Course. I think uh, even better than the PDF. Anyway, should I email for the missing force spell? Yeah, email me and I'll send you the force spell. Yeah, you know how to reach me. What program do you recommend to wireframe projects? We answered that. Uh, 20 minutes a day will take you a long way to get a job. It will take you how long to get a job? Ah. See, it's a strategy. Go watch previous videos. I won't explain it here. But the strategy of the 20 minute a day is to uh, to make sure that you do dedicated work to learning how to code. Oftentimes, once you get into, into it, the 20 minutes will end up being an hour, end up two hours. But at least if you do that 20 minute a day, it's going to have a good impact. It will get you there quick. Uh, is there... There is a way to for Fang to be good at competitive programming, but I wanted to get in resume way building it very greatly. Actually, I want to back end developer. Mm, it's hard for me to understand that, Joseph. I guess English is not your first language. 
uh, I'm not insulting you. Uh, you know, I can, the only language I can write well is English, so no insult. Um, that said, it's hard for me to understand. Is there a, is there is a way for to be good at competitive programming? Competitive programming is gimmicky, in my opinion. I would just go out there and do real projects. That's the quickest way to become and getting a job. About to start building my first library, planning to get your book. But there is any other books you recommend for learning CSS? Just my start my journey. Start with that, Sean. You know, do that one. Do my whole book. It's going to give you a really good overview, and then you'll be able to answer your own questions about CSS. If you want to get in depth uh, beyond my book, you just pick up my CSS course, uh, which is going to really go into heavy duty detail uh, in that regard. Uh, for you guys, one thing I want to point out. Uh, so, I recommend, <coughs> excuse me, let me recommend this. So, uh, a project, a side project of mine, I've been working on with a friend. It's called thebodydeveloper.com. Check it out. If It's a program we put together to teach people how to stay in shape without uh, having to go to the gym. Well, I mean, to exercise a lot. A lot of it has to do with just uh, proper diet and good health habits. Uh, so my buddy, he lost like, I think it was 70 pounds, more than 70 pounds, more like 100 pounds, I think he lost. And he kept it off for like six years. And not, you know, he's in good shape, but he did it through just changes to lifestyle. So if you're a developer, doesn't go to the gym, doesn't have time, but you want to lose weight, get in better shape, check this out free video and you get free tips and stuff it's a new program and uh i've been working out with this guy so you may want to check that out the bodydeveloper.com link should be below the bodydeveloper.com go sign up yeah it'd be helpful to you one of the things i'm trying to do is uh basically upload into your brains my decades of experience i'm much older than just about everybody here i'm sure everybody and so uh, not just my software development and business experience, but just life's experience so that you can uh, save you decades. Instead of you having to learn this stuff, it took me decades to learn all this stuff. You can pick it up from me in a short period of time. So the body developer is part of that. Uh, if you accidentally learn Ruby, it's not wasted. It's almost the same as Python. In many respects, yeah, he's right about that. You know, my pipe, my Ruby thing is just more of a joke than anything else, but that's true. I've actually, we've actually built, excuse me, we actually built stuff with Ruby um, in the past for single, single user applications. Quite, it was quite functional. How can you learn a language like a master by internet if, like YouTube and books PDF? It has to do, learn your basics. You should do my studio web courses. Uh, you'll learn very quickly. And just check the reviews. If you don't believe me, just go to Google, type in Studio Web uh, Montreal or Studio Web Stefan, and you'll find my reviews. And you'll see under 150 reviews from recent students, and you can decide whether or not. That's the quickest way to learn. Uh, does fear drive you? From my observation, I cannot imagine you panicking or getting anxiety. What's the secret? Um, where is that? Here it is. Vin. Um, no, not much fear doesn't drive me too much. Um, no, a couple reasons. Uh, when I was quite young, I, uh, I almost died of a blood disease. It was a very serious blood disease. And, uh, when I was like 18 or 19 and, uh, it was about a year and a half. I was battling this thing and, uh, I actually beat it. Even though it was a chronic disease, I beat it through very non-traditional means. I used um, traditional, I used Western medicine to sort of keep me around, keep me alive. And I used traditional Chinese uh, herbs and lifestyle changes. So I met a friend of mine, one of my best friends, a Chinese guy. So his father introduced me to a Chinese, uh, traditional Chinese uh, practitioner, Chinese medicine practitioner from Beijing. Dr. Yu, he was also a medical doctor. So he combined Western approach to my blood disease with Chinese herbalism, 
and lifestyle changes um, and diet changes. And so through that process, I was able to cure myself over, it took, it took about a year. Uh, and uh, it's been 30 years. So it's been pretty good. Now, when you, you know, when I was hospitalized, they thought I was gonna die. They weren't sure. They said, hey, with me, 25% chance you're gonna die. And I said, yeah, thanks for telling me. So that's what happened. Uh, so, and then, you know, what would happen without getting into the dirty details? I would just bleed or bruise spontaneously, which is pretty dangerous because you can just bleed in the brain, you're dead, or bleed in the liver and you're dead. So I would, to give you an idea, I would wake up in the morning from sleeping and there'd be, my, my head would be all bruised up because the platelet counts were very low. It was, like, it was like somebody took a bat and hit me across the side of the head and just from laying on a pillow. So it was very, uh, very weak. So anyway, you deal with that psychologically over a year, year and a half. Um, uh, things become easy, you know. <laughs> that being said, um, it's easy to be relaxed when you don't have any financial cares and so forth. I've been fortunate that way. So, uh, yeah, I hope that makes sense. I studied... I studied Java for a year, then I started going into web. When I got your JS course, I finished the first four chapters in less than an hour and never expected to be that easy to move from one language to another. Well, that's it, Mr. Mohammed. That's it. Once you know one, the rest come easy. That's why it is an illusion. It is an illusion when people say, oh, you got to learn this language because, oh, it's this, and nah, nah, you can't learn, oh, because you can pivot from one language to the next in like this. And in fact, in your career as a developer, you will likely be moving from one language to the next over time. So don't be afraid that you're going to learn the wrong language. It's an illusion. So let's say you learn Ruby as an example, and, I, and Steph is like, if you learn Ruby, I'll have nightmares one night. Somebody's learning Ruby. No. But if when you do learn Ruby and you find that there's no Ruby jobs, then you go out there and then you go, oh, you know, there's a lot of Python jobs. For you to learn Python after you've learned Ruby will be like this. Boom. Or to move from Ruby or from Python to JavaScript be like this. Boom. So it's not a big deal. And then when you get your, your third and fourth language, it becomes easier and easier and easier. Like in my career as a freelancer, I used eight or nine languages. I say eight or nine all the time because I forget the exact count. It was eight or nine about languages I used in professional context where I, I got paid to use that language or I made money writing software with that language in some other fashion for my own projects and as an example. And I even did something with Ruby. And uh, so it becomes easier and easier. I'm telling you, it just becomes easier. So don't be worried about choosing the wrong language it, it is not possible because it's like learning to drive a car once you learn to drive a porsche you can drive a ferrari you can drive a bmw you can drive a toyota doesn't matter okay i hope that makes sense and by the way um, i'm only ragging on ruby ruby because it's just my joke around here what's the best job to apply in 2021 the one that you like to do the best like to do the best how long should you stay at a company for switching to another one? I would say minimum of a year. You don't want to switch too often because uh, people are going to start going, why is this guy always switching? So uh, remember, because when you go work for a new company, there's usually a ramp, ramp up period where they have to train you, you have to get used to it. So it costs the company money while they're training you. Um, so if you keep switching all the time, they're going to be say, they're going to, they're going to say, well, why would we hire this guy? if he keeps quitting his jobs within six months. So keep that in mind. All right, one hour. That's it for today. I think I got a super chat. I should I should address that. I always gotta address super chats. Uh, did I get a super chat? There we go, thanks you. Te Koden, uh, super chat, MKD250 from Te Koden. Thank you very much, appreciate that. I'm not sure how much that is, but I'm, I'm sure it's a coffee. So I appreciate the coffee. Hey, Steph, if I have a few sort of similar website, ideas, is it a good idea to build the MVP like a template to cut on time spent per project? Yeah, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. You just want to get it out as quickly as possible so you can see whether or not the market 
will accept your project, will, will like your project. So yeah, that's the way to do it. Remember guys, if you're using uh, any high level language, JavaScript, Python, uh, PHP, uh, Perl, C++, Java, they're all built on other languages. So in a sense, they are, they're all templates, right? Because you're using libraries that are built. Python's big draw, uh, it's got two things. A, it's, it's the, the syntax, the Python code looks like English, so it's approachable for beginners. And B, Python is popular because it's got tons of modules, which are essentially templates of code that you can, uh, that you can leverage for your own projects, you know? So yeah, don't be worried about that, you know? Good bokeh today. Well, thank you. I always work on my bokeh game. Hold on a second. Uh, let's get some. Uh, there we go. Sun's going down. Uh, 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 all right. So how are we do it over an hour. So I'm gonna have to cut it short, guys. Uh, I stayed the current guy for eight years. There you go. So see, people will be very uh, open to hiring you because they know that you stick around. Uh, that's it I'll let you guys go thanks for joining the stream uh, please do give it a thumbs up if you like it uh, I guess this mic is the preferred mic I guess it's the preferred mic uh, of all so what's my other mic hold on So yeah, this is the, the other mic I was using. There we go. So I decided the one I'm using now seems to be clearer. This is a good mic. This is a famous, very good mic too, but I don't know. This is a gooder mic. All right. Uh, Andre de Carvalho. Hi, Stefan. Hello from Angola. Well, thanks for joining the stream, dude. All right. We're out of here. Thanks for joining the stream, and I will leave you with my uh, ASMR video from Maine. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Mm-hmm.